So last but not least is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturizer Do a Little. Um, I believe it was like a little Christmas thing. I got it for six bucks. I did not use this today because I used the Pericone MD Essentials, but I did open it up. I put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'll do the same for you. So as you could tell, it's like a white cream. Um, it's pretty thick. Uh, it feels really nice. It felt thick, but it goes on like water, like the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Doesn't really have a smell. Maybe like a very little bit, but nothing crazy. Uh, so, being that it's do a little, I'm guessing that it doesn't dry right away because it didn't dry right away. Usually like the water moisturizers or the H2O moisturizers dry like that because there is... Um, really not much to them, but this feels sticky still. It's been about what almost like 30 seconds um, I usually like to feel that just this like <laughs> I know that's probably weird, but it felt nice and soft. So Okay, so that was the Ulta haul now as a little like extra pizzazz to this video I recently purchased the ColourPop Times Sarai. I, I love Sarai collection. I was watching Glam by Melly. Shout out to Melly. Love you, girl. <laughs> I hope she one day sees this video. Um, she is, I, I don't, I just have a Snapchat and I would look at the Explore page and see makeup. And I saw this Glam by Melly and I've been watching her for like a year now. But anyway, she gets these PR packages and she got this PR package from I Love Sarai. And I've watched her before, never really like, like watched her a lot, but you know, a few times. So I got not the PR package. It came with a these two and a kaleidoscope, the PR package. But for ten dollars less, you could just get these two. And I really don't need the kaleidoscope, even though the PR package was very pretty. Um, this suited me enough. So I want to get right into it and show you this palette. So this palette is called Through My Eyes and it's a pressed powder palette. Now, shade names, maybe I should open it first. So I fell in love with this immediately soon as I saw it. Are you ready? Look at these colors, look at these colors. Like, I don't even know if you can tell, but, all right, so I'm just gonna read the shade names really quick, quickly, starting from up here. This is Lucido, Wild Soul, Mesmer Eyes, and Sandalwood. Now, that's just the top row, and are you ready for these swatches? I'm going to swatch them on my arm. All right, starting with Lucido, this seems to me like a highlighter. Shoot, you can't really tell, but it's very, very pretty. It's really pigmented and it's nice. The next one was Wild Soul. I actually used this this weekend. It was very, very pretty. It's like a, a mustardy, yellowy orange. And it's a really, really nice color. I'm doing horrible at this. The next one is like a, like a foily. It's mesmerized. It's like a copper foiled like pressed pigment. And it's really pretty. The camera's not picking up any of these well. But I'm still going to continue to do it because I love you guys. <laughs> this one is sandalwood. It's like uh, what you would think of when you think of sandalwood, like a nice brownish color transition. These two transition shades work amazing. So the next row, let's move on. I don't know if I should just swatch them or just go through it. Um, maybe I'll just swatch a few. So this one is in a wink. It's like a nice pinky color. Uh, euphoric, another uh, orangey color. Canela, <laughs> Brother Nature. <laughs> it's a nice little deep, uh, it actually has sparkles in it. This definitely should be swatched. Oh, wow. It has like, it, it kind of is like, um, what was I going to say? It's kind of like mesmerized, but without that much foil to it, but it still has that like glimmer. Look at that. Maybe I should come show you guys the other shades here. Um, okay, next we have, oh, so this, I'm sorry, guys, I'm the worst. This is going to get better, I promise. 
next, I'm really excited, Emerald Dream. That one we must watch. Then next Emerald Dream is Muse and then Divine and Flex. Muse is also like a coppery color, maybe not as big of a foil as Mesmerize, but along the same lines. Divine is like an eggplanty purple, and um, Flex is kind of like a charcoaly black. Um, so it's all the way at the end by the on the green row on the other side. So let's let's swatch emerald green right now. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shoot. Sorry. Look at that. Oh my God. That was literally one wipe of the finger. Look at that. Ooh, that pigment, honey. Okay. Now last row, we have nostalgia, which is like, um, in a wink, except darker. It's more of like a rose pink next is moody which would go amazing as a transition color to emerald green next is knock chin they, they this kind of also reminds me of muse and mesmerize but also a smaller glitter and then last but not least misbehave in like a magenta pinky color now i'm going to bring this over here to the light and show you guys a little better so as you could tell the lighting is horrible, but yes, mama. All right, I'll help you. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to maybe do a little bit of a look with this after I show you the rest of the ColourPop haul, but let's move forward. So also with the I Love Sarai collection is this lip bundle. So. I, that's her handle, I Love Sarai times ColourPop. Now, this lip bundle comes with a glass lip, ultra gla glossy lip, Sueño de Coco ultra matte lip, and Dulcale ultra matte lip. I have Sueño de Coco on my lips right now. And they are all friggin' gorgeous. This whole thing, $39.99. The PR package with the kaleidoscope, $49.99. I jumped on this as soon as I saw it. Amazing. I'm going to swatch these for you because why not? So this one, Sueño de Coco, is what I have on my lips right now. This reminded me of, I never tried uh, ColourPop's like matte liquid lipsticks or anything like that or any of their lipsticks. But um, it reminded me of like the Kylie Jenner matte lip because that's the only thing I know to uh, compare it to. But compared to that one, this one is much more hydrating, much less drying, much less um, like stinky almost because these smell like really cute. And what I absolutely love about, so these two are matte lips, I believe. Yes, and the gloss has the brush which I friggin' love. I'm gonna swatch this on my lips right now. So beautiful. It goes on just so perfectly. I love little brushes. And like, look how beautiful it looks. So, these are everything swatched. So we go from the top, Sueño de Coco. The middle is glass lip and then Dulca. I mean, I'm sorry. The bottom is glass lip and then the middle is Dulcalet. Look at that glass lip dough. Oh, so beautiful. So now moving forward, I did not bring it with me, but I did buy the ColourPop foundation and I recently watched a video, James Charles filmed himself trying every single foundation that was popular this year, that was, you know, tr tr like tested this year from different beauty gurus or just like foundations that we know and love. And he was trying to find his perfect color. And I had actually recently bought a 
ColourPop foundation and I didn't get to try it yet. So when I watched this video, I was very happy to say that he liked the ColourPop foundation. So I went ahead and I tried it out today. And I can honestly tell you guys that I love it maybe just as much, if not a little bit less, that as my Giorgio Armani foundation. They both are amazing to me. And as you can tell, I haven't tanned, so I'm like the tiniest bit off color. But that also doesn't matter because with this foundation, with the color, the specific color I chose, I think that it blends in so perfectly that like even if you're a little bit off, it doesn't even matter. So I definitely recommend their foundation. I believe I got it for like $9. But I wish I had it here to show you guys, but... You see it on my face. Moving forward though, I got these two Super Shock Cheek Highlighters for $4 each. Now, I forgot who was saying in the videos that they liked the ColourPop highlighters, but I went in ahead and I bought them because I wanted to try them for myself. And girl, when I tell you that I've never felt something creamier in my life, but at the same time a powder, I was I was blown away. Literally blown away. I actually been using it for the past two days, and today was the first day I used it on my finger, and the first day I was blown away. <laughs> so I got two different shades, um, Lunch Money and Flexitarian. And I just want to show you, I have lunch money on today. I'm not going to lie, it did go away pretty quickly, which I don't like that. I only did my makeup a few hours ago, so it should stay with me all day. But for $4, how could we complain? Look at this. I want to tell you guys that it feels like it's a cream right now. Like, if you can tell, like, I can't even, like, tell you how creamy it is. So now just testing this out. I like to just like spread it a little bit. But look, I mean, that's fucking friggin' blinding, no? Look, look at that. I mean, we don't have the best lighting in here. We know that already. But come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's annoying. But seriously, super cute. Um, So Lunch Money, the one that we just used is kind of like this I don't want to say champagne-y because the, uh, the flexitarian is definitely like a champagne-y, pinky, Prosecco kind of like Becca toned highlighter. Um, while it's the lunch money is a little bit more on the like tannish side. I don't know how to explain it or like beige-ish, but they are both really, really nice. And I am super happy to get into like a look with it. Now, last but not least, um, with your $50 purchase, I believe you received a free ColourPop palette. Um, I don't remember if I got to choose the palette or if I, or if they just sent you this one, but nonetheless, I got the Chasing Rainbows palette. Um, when I saw it online, I was like super happy to get it, but when I received it, it kind of looks like the Through My Eyes palette. I could be like a little off, but it definitely had a few colors, like exactly like the Through My Eyes palette. Like this one, this one, definitely this one, the pinky, so like, I, I don't know. But I was still happy to receive it because it is different. I mean, no hate, no shade to anyone. I bought both of them I'm gonna use both of them so that being said from the top i'm just gonna name all the names and then we'll swatch a few so it goes wiggles blurred line so matte feeling it realness line two wake wishless manifest keep cool and not playing and then the bottom we have lucid bring it on one eclipse and prism and now just like in my own opinion blurred lines i would 100 percent use as a highlighter and i mean look at that very very nice let's try i mean we don't really have much maybe let's do inner corner very wow very nice 
Very, very nice. I love it. Ugh, love it. I love like whites for inner corners because it opens up your eyes so much. Like literally opens it. Very pretty. Um, second best shade in here. I mean, not best, but you know what I mean. Like the second most interesting shade that catches my eye here is not playing because it's like this pinky, sparkly. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is gonna be gorgeous. Look at this, ready? <laughs> so you can't see your wait. Look at that color though. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Not playing that bottom pink color. Look at that, I am not playing right now. That reminds me, I was watching, um, from Black Friday, uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics had like mystery boxes. And that reminds me of the Skin Frost in pink. And to be honest with you, I, this girl may frost her skin and not play. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really crazy. <laughs> you know, this is the first video, but like, get used to it. Because we are going on a trip. In our favorite racket shit, going through the sky. Wow, that was like really bad. All right, anyway, let's move on. So let's take this not playing and not play. Because seriously, I could use this as a blush and as a highlighter. So I'm not playing neither. Oh my god, I may be onto something here. So just a disclaimer before like the online world becomes the online world. I'm not a good makeup like guru, artist, person, whatever. I'm just starting makeup and I'm starting this channel because I want whoever out there is afraid of doing things afraid of going for things to take this ride with me because i'm doing this to get my name out there to learn more about myself to learn more about you guys to learn more about youtube to learn more about like the world <laughs> to learn more about makeup that's why i'm doing this because i have a passion for makeup and i may not be as good as you guys as like experienced as you guys but i'm ready to learn what's up Chloe Saturday and hurt me. Where'd she hurt you?